Hello guys, so a lot of people ask me how they can migrate their website from one domain to another domain or sometimes they ask me how they can move their website from one hosting to another hosting. For example, you can see I've created these two test websites. This is our first website on first domain, we'll call it like website one. And then we have next website or you can say another domain, which will say website two. You can see this complete website, a lot of images, tags, plugins, themes. And then on the second domain, or you can say second hosting, we just installed a fresh WordPress. You can see this is basic WordPress website. So we're gonna move this whole website to here, this fresh WordPress solution in just three easy steps. To make this migration, we're gonna use this plugin all in one WP migration. This is one of the most installed plugin on WordPress. You can see they have five plus million active installation and not just five plus million active installation. You can see here this plugin is used by over 60 million websites. Let's just look at the ratings of this plugin. You can see they got almost 4.5 star ratings, which is a really good rating. And most of the people gave five star ratings. Very few gave one star rating, but yes, you can see the number is really big. Almost 90% of people gave five star rating and then four star, three star, two star. So the first step will be to install this plugin on both the domains or we can see on both the hostings. So we go to first website, which if we want to migrate, we go to dashboard. And then we we'll go to second website, we we'll go to dashboard. This second website can be a new hosting or new domain. We just need to install the fresh WordPress. And then we're gonna go to plugins, click add new. And then we'll search here all in one. And you can see this plugin all in one W migration. We're gonna click install now. Once installed, we're gonna click on activate. We're gonna install the same plugin on the destination website. So hold on plugins, click add new. Now search here all in one. We're going to install all in one double migration on the destination website too. And then click on activate. So the first step is done. Congratulations, guys. We installed all in WP migration on both the website, the website which you want to transfer, or in the final domain where we want to transfer this website. Okay, so what we need to do now is we go to second step to create a copy of our website. So hold on all in one W migration and then click on export. And now we're gonna click export too. You can see there are multiple options here, file, FTP, Dropbox, Google Drive. They're really good if you want to take backup of the website, you can just select Dropbox and the copy of the website will be uploaded to Dropbox. Or if you want to do on Google Drive, you can choose Google Drive and the copy of your website will be uploaded to your Google Drive account. But in this video, it's just going to look at the migration. So we're going to click here, export to file. You can see preparing to export. Depending on website size, it can take few minutes, but you can see our copy of website is ready. So we're going to click on download. And you can see copy of our website is downloaded. So step two is also done. We downloaded successfully the website copy. So now you go to second website or second domain or you can see second hosting where you want to migrate this website to. So we will hold on all in W migration and then this time we're going to click on import. And now import from, we're going to choose file. Then from my download folder, I'm going to choose the copy of website we just created. And you see this notice, this process will override your website including database, media, plugins and themes. Please ensure that you have backup your data before proceeding to the next step. In our case, because this is a fresh WordPress installation, so we are not so much worried about it. And that is what we want. We want to copy our original site to the new destination. So we're going to click on proceed. Depending on the size of the copy of your original site, it can take up to a few minutes. And now it's done. You can see the site has been imported successfully. There's some option here, save permalink structure, opens in a new window. It is sometimes really important to update the permalink. So when we click on the link, we need to log in again because right now we import a new website to the destination website. Log into website two with the credential of website one because we imported everything, the database, the files, the plugins, themes, images, everything. So I'm gonna log in with the website one login details. When I click login, I will come to this permalink page. If you cannot find this page, you can go to settings and then click on permalinks and then click on save changes. So now let's see how our website looks like. If I click on view site, you can see we have successfully migrated the website to website two. If I show you the website one, you can see this website and now this is website two. Don't be confused by seeing here website one or you can see website one here. It is website two, but because we have copied the website one to website two, that's why we are seeing website one. Because on this domain now, there's a copy of the our old domain website. If you have any questions, please comment on this video. I'm really happy to help you out. If you learn something from this video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is totally free and that really boosts my morale. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and share this video with somebody. And if you want to know how you can increase your website speed, check out this amazing video on screen. And if you want to create a complete WordPress website from scratch, check out this other video on screen.